Hi folks, this video is packed full of some really awesome Fusion 360 tips and tricks and secrets you might not know. Number one, let's say we need to renumber Tool 30. Hop into the Tool Library, right click on Tool 30, renumber Tool, and we'll renumber it to 42. Click renumber, done and done. Number two, drag a tool to another cam operation to change that tool. Yeah, what you just saw is amazing. Let's say this second adaptive was a 3 16 and we want it to be this quarter inch from before. Left click, drag, hold over this operation, let up. It has updated the tool number as well as the tool. You can also right click on the tool and choose copy. Now be careful, you don't wanna right click on the operation. You need to be on the tool, click copy, and then right click on anywhere on the operation, hit paste and it will also update that. This could be a super useful way if you want to do a bulk change when you're tweaking your cam operations or toolpaths. And speaking of dialing in toolpaths, sometimes it's really difficult to see the geometry that you're cutting, especially internal features like holes, whether they're on the mill or the lathe. Here, I really want to look head on at what this boring bar is doing. So let's use section view. If we toggle on our origin, we have the XZ plane right along the center line of this part. Go to inspect, section analysis, we'll pick that XC plane. It's gonna cut our part in half just for the visualization. And we can now simulate that boring operation and see exactly where that insert's going to cut along the profile of our part. The other really useful feature is to switch your display settings view of the object itself. Like most people, I like shaded with visible edges, which means we only see the lines that would be visible to the naked eye. You could do shaded with hidden edges, but it seems fairly noisy for normal everyday use. If I don't wanna do a section view, but I want more detail, sometimes I'll switch to the wireframe view, which kind of gives that 2D drawing hollow look of your part and lets you see through the part, whether you're simulating it or modeling it. But what I find most helpful is the fact that all these are accessible with a keyboard shortcut. So I toggle a lot between control six and control seven to switch that view seamlessly, whether I'm looking at the depth of a drilled hole or the depth of a boring feature. Have you ever looked at a toolpath and wished it was just a cleaner look? There's way too much going on here between the cutting moves, the lead ins, the lead outs, the linking moves. You can turn that visibility off. The bottom of your screen, there's a toggle option in this case, I want to turn off linking moves. That gets rid of all of the yellow. And I can turn off my lead in or lead outs, which is the green. And that gives me a much cleaner look to inspect what I actually care about here, which is the cutting moves. Let's jump over to the, some CAD tips, but stick around. The cam tip that we've got at the end might just blow your mind. We're thinking about doing a modification to our UMC that would allow us to put air through the table so that we can use a pneumatic vise. I want to defeature or take away most of this model except for the B axis and the trunnion. But if we drag a box around our part and hit delete, Fusion tends to be really sluggish and will often get errors. Cannot delete individual faces. They actually give you a very helpful hint though. To delete the whole body, please use filters. Under select, selection filters. Uncheck select all, just choose bodies. And now when we drag a box over our part, it only selects bodies, which makes it much snappier. The other pro tip is that when you drag a box from left to right, notice where my box is and how it doesn't come completely across the right side of the model. Dragging a box from left to right will only select items that are fully contained within the blue boundaries of the selection box, like so. If you draw approximately the same size box right to left, it will select everything that it's touching, whether it's fully inside my box or not. You can see left to right is a solid blue line, right to left is the dashed blue line. So in this case, I prefer right to left because I'm making some relatively big deletes here and I just wanna get rid of everything before I get to the trunnion. I'm gonna orient my model from the top now. We can even mix those commands. So I'll drag a box right to left to select everything that it's touching, but then I can hold the control key and drag a box left to right to undo things that are fully encapsulated in that design.
when you're done, don't forget to change your selection filters back or it'll drive you nuts. Here's a really good tip for selecting holes. I've picked one hole and I've chosen select same diameter, which selects all the holes in this test piece that we were doing for a carbide reamer. But what if we want to start excluding holes as we've already drilled them? Hop back into design, create a sketch, I'm going to drag a rectangle around our whole part, and then I'm also going to drag a rectangle around the first hole. Now I'm going to click the outside rectangle and I'm going to fix that. But notice I didn't fix or lock the inside rectangle. I'll now choose finish sketch, but leave the sketch visible. Back in our manufacturing workspace, choose the containment boundary and select both rectangles. That will exclude the hole in this smaller square. And when I want to adjust that, all we've got to do is hop back to the design space. We don't have to edit the sketch because it's visible and not fully constrained. I can drag it to the next hole, hop back to manufacture, regenerate my toolpath, and we're done. All right, last two tips. Did you know that Fusion 360 has a third-party app store? Google Fusion 360 app store. And it has some really useful plugins like text on art, where you can download a third-party developed app that can help you do things that Fusion doesn't have the native abilities for, like text along an arc. And the last tip, and this is by far the most awesome, one of Fusion's weaknesses is the ability to select 2D contours, uh, especially when they require a lot of clicking or they're really complex. For example, selecting a 2D contour that would go all the way around this part. Here's the trick. Sketch. Create sketch. P for project, but change the selection filter to bodies. Click our body. Click OK. I'm going to turn off my part body visibility so I just see the sketch that we just projected. I just want the outside geometry, so I'm going to delete the interior sketches. Finish sketch. So that in and of itself is really helpful because without having to, to click and hold and drag through, we've got a sketch that walks around the outside of our part. What's even cooler is what you can do next. When I want to select that contour, First off, I can just click on it, which saves you a lot of time because it's a single contour. You don't have to fight what I think is probably one of Fusion's weaker workflows, which is selecting one chain, holding down, and sometimes having to click around, choose between close or open, and fight what Fusion sometimes thinks is the wrong selection when it's trying to guess what you're trying to do. So that helps. But the other really cool trick is you can expand your design tree and actually choose Sketch 14. Now this has a major weakness, which is that when you select it as a sketch, you can't flip the direction. In other words, you've lost that red arrow. Uh, here, it happened to default to being correct on the outside, and that seems to be the behavior it does. What's nice about this sketch is that if you then change the sketch to delete or add sections of it, those will flow through to the cam without any additional clicking or reselecting or updating. But either way, this can really help streamline how you program some of your cam operations, especially when you have the same set of geometry that you want to use across multiple cam operations. As always, folks, hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed. Take care. See you soon.